taxes are going up. Boris Johnson raised taxes to their highest sustained level in peacetime today to help fund the NHS post-pandemic and overhaul England's social care. Millions of families will be worse off. So how did the Prime Minister announce this? By putting on a bin liner and painting a cup. There we go. <laughs> how is he in charge? <laughs> Look at him. What a fucking mug. <laughs> now, predictably, some Tories were vexed. The public don't like parties that raise taxes. Very concerned about it. It's just not right. The Conservative Party is finished. Mainly because two years ago, he said this. Read my lips, we will not be raising taxes on income or VAT or national insurance. How were they surprised he lied? He's Boris Johnson. <laughs> He's a black belt in bullshit. <laughs> he lied about Brexit. We got an oven ready deal. He lied about the NHS. We will recruit 50,000 more nurses. He even lies about his hair. I can tell you I do brush it. I have a brush <laughs> in my office. What's frustrating, maybe we wouldn't need a tax increase if the government hadn't wasted all of our money. They spent £37 billion on a test and trace system that doesn't work, £150 million on masks that don't fit. I mean, Christ, Downing Street spent nearly 100000 on two paintings. Not only is that a waste of money, they are terrible. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Looks like Papa Smurf's wank rag. <laughs> Boris Johnson made a huge announcement. The Prime Minister warns we're facing an Omicron emergency as he sets out a bold new plan for boosters. The Prime Minister made the announcement in a televised address after warning that a tidal wave of Omicron is coming. We must urgently reinforce our wall of vaccine protection to keep our friends and loved ones safe. Must we? Well, you didn't give a shit about anyone's loved ones last Christmas, did you, Boris? <laughs> we obeyed the rules. You and your mates were on the lash. It now appears there were seven parties in and around Westminster last Christmas. Seven parties! <laughs> we were locked down. They had a week-long Mardi Gras. <laughs> I bet by the end of the week, Boris was doing this. His ministers are still denying these parties even happened. Um, I don't even know if an event took place, but if it did, that no rules were broken. <laughs> what a load of shit. The event didn't happen, but if it did happen, then it won't have happened how you think it happened. <laughs> Case closed or open. Downing... <laughs> Downing Street advisors were laughing at us. Did you see what they called the party? It's a fictional party. It was a business meeting. <laughs> And it was not socially distanced. It was a business meeting. Really? Because by the end of it, many were rat assed <laughs> They probably left this business meeting like this. <laughs> and they weren't just shit-faced. They did a quiz. And look who hosted it. It's the 15th of December last year, inside 10 Downing Street. Boris Johnson is hosting a round of a staff Christmas quiz. Two colleagues are either side of him, one with tinsel wrapped around him. Boris was running the quiz! What a piss take! Question one. We're in a national lockdown. Should we A, obey the rules like everybody else? Or B, do what the fuck we want? <laughs> We're the Tories. <laughs> fuck those peasants. <laughs> Fuck them like the muggles they are. <laughs> and despite being photographed there, he's still denying it even happened. Mr Johnson has repeatedly said there was no party, that no rules were broken. Now he appears to have ordered an investigation to see if what he was saying was true. <laughs> he's ordered an investigation to see if he was lying. <laughs> he was there. <laughs> he was there 
next to a man covered in tinsel and a woman with either a tiny hat or a massive head. <laughs> and if you think the Tories took the mick, look at the police reaction to these illegal parties. The Metropolitan Police says it will not investigate allegations that staff at Downing Street broke COVID restrictions by holding a Christmas party because of a lack of evidence. <laughs> now, I'm no expert, but surely the point of an investigation... <laughs> ..is to find evidence. <laughs> you know, like a photo. It's like the police have got a dead body on the floor and there's a man in front of them holding a knife, covered in blood, <laughs> with a T-shirt that says, it was me. <laughs> I killed him. And they're like, I don't know, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Boris Johnson's all over the place. I mean, take the new COVID rules. On the one hand, he's saying this. We will reintroduce the guidance to work from home. Then, seconds later, he's saying this. We think that it's, it's OK, uh, currently, on what we can see, uh, to, to, to keep going with, uh, with Christmas parties. So, <laughs> apparently, this is a COVID hotspot. <laughs> but this is absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, if Boris is suggesting that alcohol makes people in this country more responsible... <laughs> I refer you to this headline, Drunk Fault Invisible Man. <laughs> and in case you're not convinced, never forget that a 25-year-old man in relatively high spirits on a night out in Barnstable, Devon, tried to make love to an ambulance. <laughs> so, will people follow the new rules? Yes, they will. In possibly the most British way ever. Over one million people are going to a Christmas rave at 10 Downing Street <laughs> this Christmas Eve. Let's all wake up, Boris! Let's all wake up, Boris! So I cannot wait for the moment the police try and arrest them. This isn't a rave, officer. <laughs> this is a business meeting. <laughs> In fact, I've actually got my business card here. <laughs> <laughs> and let's all ignore that my dancing for a rave was that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to a rave, but I imagine... <laughs> not a lot of that, is there, all right? Good rave today, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> they got a buffet in this rave, or what? <laughs> It's all looking bleak. Luckily, we got a Prime Minister in complete control. The Prime Minister is well and he hasn't lost his grip on the job. That's the official line from Downing Street today after criticism of Boris Johnson's performance at yesterday's CBI conference. He was talking to business leaders. He had a total meltdown. Uh, with fantastic uh, broadband... Uh... <laughs> Uh <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Forgive me. He was all over the shop. It makes you think. What was on those notes? Um... Uh... <sighs> of a business conference, he did just that. Yesterday, I went, uh, as, as we all must, uh, 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 to, to Peppa Pig World. <laughs> you know who's been to Peppa Pig World? Who's been to Pads? I've been to been to Peppa Pig World. What are you talking about? <laughs> they want economic advice, not cartoons. <laughs> Prime Minister, will Omicron affect GDP? Um... Uh... Baby shark... Do, 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 do. <laughs> He's such a child. Did you see him at Peppa Pig World? Look at him! <laughs> he looks like Noddy on crack. <laughs> How is he even Prime Minister? I think this lady puts it best. Fuck off!
of Paris. Well, <laughs> Amazingly, his colleagues leapt to his defence. He's an incredibly smart guy. To talk about Peppa Pig to the CBI, I think that is a masterstroke. He's the greatest Prime Minister ever. Fair to say, not everyone agrees. What's your thoughts on him as a Prime Minister? Shit. <laughs> All these... All these cock It's no wonder some of his MPs are losing faith. Several Tory MPs have submitted letters of no confidence. What gets me? How have they only just lost confidence? He's lied about the NHS, he lied about Brexit, and, crucially, he's fucking weird. <laughs> Boris Johnson said he loved fox hunting in a semi-sexual way. <laughs> Who finds fox hunting arousing? When they have sex, it sounds like someone's stabbing a bagpipe. <laughs> <laughs> also, his poor wife, his poor Carrie, fancy a bit of role-play? <laughs> It sounds lovely, boy. <laughs> Have you got plans? I've got 50 of my friends dressed as beagles. <laughs> oh! He's not just weird, he's utterly useless. <laughs> he had to guess his son's birthday three times in an awkward chat with a voter. Is it today? Tomorrow? Different day? It's a different day. I knew it. Ah, <laughs> I'll never forget Sammy. Johnny, Teddy, Wilfred's birthday. <laughs> She's my favourite daughter. Son, sorry. Fucking baby shark. <laughs> Boris Johnson has big plans for the nation. Conservative MPs and party members are gathering in Manchester for the start of their annual conference. The Prime Minister tells his party that he'll deal with the biggest issues that no government has had the guts to tackle. So how did he do that? By talking utter shit. <laughs> what monkey glands are they applying in Ribble Valley? What royal jelly are they eating? You know, our wonderful nurses pull my chestnuts out of that Tartarian pit. Cordroid, cobulus, cosmonauts, fibre-optic vermicelli, coagulated roundabouts, cheek by jowler, raucous caucus from the Antiochus caucus. <laughs> the country's on his arse, <laughs> and he's taken acid and swallowed a dictionary. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? Raucous caucus sausage porcus. <laughs> It's like he's trying to remember his safe word. <laughs> ask your parents. He's... <laughs> he's... Don't ask your parents, that's right. <laughs> but Boris is absurd. We've got a fuel crisis, and he's boasting about this. Otters are returning to rivers from which they've been absent for decades. Who needs petrol? We've got otters! <laughs> you can't... You can't run a car on otters. <laughs> Unless you've got loads of them on a leash. <laughs> and they're dragging it. And sure, I'm not against that. <laughs> but it's just not practical. You know, most of that are just down quick fit. Your problem, mate. <laughs> you've got a flat otter. <laughs> also, let's not muck around. The otters return to rivers by themselves. It had nothing to do with Boris. <laughs> he didn't seduce them back. <laughs> Like some kind of otter pipe piper, just <laughs> covered in fish. Come to me, my bridges. <laughs> and when he wasn't banging on about the animals of farthing wood, he just came up with meaningless slogans. Build back butter. Build back batter. Build back burger. Build back bitter. Build back beaver, I say. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Build back beaver? <laughs> That's not useful. That's something a female sex robot would say. <laughs> Build back beaver. <laughs> back door battered. <laughs> Burn my batteries. Here's a slogan for you, Boris. Stop talking bollocks! <laughs> we don't want slogans. We want answers. But whenever he's asked a tricky question, he deflects it by saying a normal word in a funny way. 
Listen to the way he says global. Have you got 100% of your staff back behind their desks? No, I think I don't. What's your think percentage? I, 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 it depends. Which, I've got which 100% department. back at LBC. It it depend, what have you got? Depend, it de well, I congratulate you. Yes. I, 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 I congratulate. And does that apply to the whole of global? <laughs> You, you can't pronounce something in a funny way to get out of trouble. No, officer, I haven't been drink-driven. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even been to the pip. <laughs> oh, my otter's flat. <laughs> but the trouble is... <laughs> Boris Johnson does this all the time. I have nothing to say about this matter except what you see. Tea. Flying frisbee. <laughs> Blue. Passport from Google. Dude! One crouton. Vegan sausage rolls. UFOs. Flapjacks. <laughs> and yeah, he's funny. There's no denying. But we don't need funny people in a crisis. They don't help. Nobody has ever been in a burning building and gone, Quick! Someone get me a comedian! <laughs> Grand's dying. Fetch Jimmy Carr! <laughs> 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 Ridiculous. Boris just doesn't inspire confidence. I mean, look what he wore when he went jogging. Look at that! <laughs> Who goes for a run wearing a smart shirt and brogues? <laughs> he looks like he's just been caught banging someone's wife. Just... <laughs> That's right, madam. And... <laughs> Was it you? When he wasn't... <laughs> Caucus, caucus, pull. when? I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. When? Oh! Well, I can't look at you, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but when Boris wasn't running around like an alcoholic James Bond, he kept saying this. Leveling up, 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 leveled up, leveling up. But what does that mean? Even his supporters don't know. What does levelling up mean? Yeah. Um, as far as I understand it, it means giving everybody a, a fair crack of the whip. Well, it means levelling up rather than levelling down. And there's a significant difference. Yes. Because up is here... <laughs> ..and down is there. <laughs> and as you can see... ..they're very different places. <laughs> Do you know the otters are back? 